So we just finished up season two. A definite step up from season one. Agreed. More consistently good episodes and less episodes that just make you really hate everybody in this show. Characters are more established, so they are more consistent. And they're more interesting. And it makes the writing a little easier instead of taking shots in the dark on what's going to work and what's not. And we, of course, had Pulaski in place of Beverly. I still like the way Pulaski plays off of the other characters, but they didn't do a lot with her. There were only a couple of episodes where she was kind of prevalent, and then she mostly kind of faded to the background for everything else. The focus was somewhere else, and she just kind of chimed in every time. No major characters died this season. We almost lost Riker. I was hoping it would be a positive season ending. (laughs) There were a lot more creative episodes in this season, which you would not think would be as good if you just had a one-sentence synopsis. Something like Elementary Dear Data. There was also a lot stronger continuity in this season. But I know you're super pissed off about the stars out the window because you brought that up in almost every episode, and I cut it. You're welcome, everyone watching this video. Yeah, they just look so much cheaper in this season since they are actual stars outside the windows that are clearly two feet away. We did get a couple of new characters besides Pulaski. We had Guinan, who by the end of season two, we barely know anything about, but I really like the way they're handling her. They keep her mystery interesting. Right. And then we did have Kalar. Okana. Who could forget Okana? I completely forgot until you just mentioned him. The child of f***ing Negilum. <laughs> Reva. These are at least characters that we remember. They're distinct. Yeah. Dr. Schizoid Man. The dumb genetic doctor, Brian Thompson. The guy who wanted to take Data apart. Bruce Maddox. Which sounds like a comic book character. Wesley's sex creature. <laughs> <laughs> The Romulans do a little bit more in this season, but still not much. Yeah, we had the return of Q, which was much better than season one, and also introduced the Borg. Yeah, Picard's doppelganger, played by his real-life twin brother, Edwin Stewart. (laughs) (laughs) We had Riker's dad. Ugh. Let's hope he comes back. Longfinger Girl, the crew's intellectual counterparts, the Packleds. Irish stereotype guy. Luxana came back. One of the rare examples of humor that actually works in this show. Zaxxon Korami, or whatever the hell his name was. Ah, yeah. Those fish people. The Ferengi showed up for about five minutes. We introduced Riker's Gut, who will become a bigger character as the show goes on. Standout episodes for the season. I would say Elementary Dear Data for sure. Definitely. A matter of honor. Definitely. Everybody likes Measure of a Man, but I think we agreed that it's not as good as its reputation. Agreed. I like Times Squared. I know you didn't like that one very much. Yeah, I thought it was dumb. I did try and find an Anbo Jitsu dojo, but I can't find any near me. Characters are still being stupid, making dumb decisions. Yeah, we're used to that by now, unfortunately. What would you say was your favorite episode? I would probably go with Elementary Dear Data. It's harder this season, which is a good thing. That's true. I liked Elementary Dear Data a lot, but I really liked the humor in Manhunt. Worst episode for you? As bad as Shades of Grey is, it's more pointless than anything. So I'm going to go with Up the Long Ladder. Shades of Grey isn't even a real episode. So yeah, even though it sucked, I wouldn't count that. I'm going to say Where Silence Has Lease. The Child was pretty bad too. I want to say that. I know you liked that episode for some reason. You gave it a B+. plus. <laughs> What was I thinking? (laughs) Shit. (gasps) Who's editing this? B plus is too high. (laughs) I do enjoy that it was harder to pick out the worst one in this, because in season one, it was hard because there were so many. So moving on to season three, if you haven't subscribed yet, good for you for holding out. (laughs) Don't let other people tell you what to do.